long-awaited second episode of Good Eats No Cap. Thank you for the support on episode one. All of our friends told us they enjoyed it. If you didn't, thank you for lying. I'm a co-host, L.A. Rice, joined by my co-host, Kelly Powers. Uh, my beautiful girlfriend, you're beautiful. I am the co-host of the MoCast Pod, Good Griefs contributor. Contributor, Check us out, thegoodgriefs.com, MoCast, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify. Big episode for you guys today. We are doing a Chick-fil-A pizza, baby. Who doesn't love Chick-fil-A? Who doesn't love pizza? So we're putting two into one. We're going to Wegmans right now. Great store, great store. And then we're going to go to Chick-fil-A jersey, second jersey. First jersey I wore was Sue Butler, RIP, my brother, like I said. This jersey, Andrew Villanueva, offensive lineman for the Pittsburgh Steelers, always supporting the troops. Shout out the troops. Happy late Veterans Day. Good Eats No Cap, episode two. Let's go. This way. All right, you see where we are? You see where we are? This fine establishment of Wegmans, best grocery store in the area, that and Costco. We're here, okay? We're gonna pick up two things for the Chick-fil-A pizza. We gotta get the dough, some real dough, no frozen-ish. And we're getting two cheeses, mozzarella and a little bit of pepper jack. Let's go. Picked up a white pizza, not frozen, pretty good dough. Usually a wheat guy, usually a wheat guy, but we're going all out tonight. Here we go. We're gonna get the Wayman from the car wash. I'm gonna get at it. We're gonna get, like I said, mozzarella and pepper jack. Is pepper jack good, Kelly? You want something else? Pepper jack? Whole milk mozzarella. Mozzarella it is. Mozzarella it is. We out. Got the mozzarella. Got the white pizza dough. You know, like I said, I'm a weak guy. I know you guys can tell. I've been cutting back the carbs. We're leaving the great Wegmans. Leaving the great Wegmans. We're off to Chick-fil-A. Follow us. We'll, we'll see you there. So we're on our way to Chick-fil-A right now. We're going to get 24 chicken nuggets, mac and cheese. What else? 24 chicken nuggets, one mac and cheese, two large fry, and then some milkshakes, but that doesn't factor into the pizza, but you know, it's cheat day. We gotta go all out, right? All right, let's do it. Could I get 24 Chick-fil-A nuggets, two large fries, a mac and cheese, medium, please? Could I get like 12 Chick-fil-A sauces? And that's it. Back from Wegmans, there's a Chick-fil-A right next to it. Like I showed you earlier, we got the white pizza pie, white pizza dough. So here's the ingredients. Get a pie. Then we get the mozzarella. We were gonna do a two-cheese blend, but no, let's just do these two. Then come closer, Kel. Thank you. Chick-fil-A, one large fry. Mac and cheese. Two large fry. 124 nugget, I mean 112 nugget and 212 nugget, that's 24 nuggets, and then 14 packets of Chick-fil-A sauce. Thank goodness that didn't explode. Large pizza pie, mozzarella, two large fry, two or 24 nugs, 14 Chick-fil-A sauce, mac and cheese. Let's go. We have a live audience for this episode today. Shout out Bailey and Buddy for being in this episode. If you want to be in the live audience for next episode, Good Eats No Cap episode three, we are allowing a limited number of the COVID. You know, we got to abide by the COVID guidelines. They should be wearing masks. They should be wearing masks. But let's get started. Let's get started. Step one, Soto. That was really bad, really cringy. Okay, so we're gonna do the oven. Always our first step, always our first step. Uh, 
Step one, it's already heating up. That thing gonna get hot, finesse no mess. Step one, unwrap the pizza and put the Chick-fil-A sauce on top. 14 packets, shout out Chick-fil-A. I thought I was gonna have to get a bottle, but they gave us endless packets. Let's go. All right, guys, we just poured all the Chick-fil-A sauce, 14 packets. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. Step two is done. I'll show you before we spread it out. Let's go, finesse no mess. Sheesh. Wow, look at that. Look at all the Chick-fil-A sauces we just killed. That's a lot of sugar. I'll put a calorie count on the end. But Cal, you wanna do the honors? Let's spread it on. All right, step two, we put all the Chick-fil-A sauce. Kelly spread it out beautifully. Now some mozzarella cheese. Comment below if it's mozzarella or mozzarella. Okay. It's cheat day, anything goes on cheat day. You know, I'm three and oh in Good Grief's picks. Mo Money, I'm on fire. I can afford to do this. Ethan Noon. Um, I am your father with the gambling picks, by the way. Uh, you're my apprentice. So, here we go. Spread it out. This thing gonna get cheesy. This thing gonna get hot. Step four, cut the chicken into three or four pieces. Third or fourths, yes. So they look like that. So they look like that, okay. Protein, protein. The gains, right, baby? Yeah. This is what 24 chopped up chicken nuggets look like. By the way, these jeans, they have me feeling some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? All right, now we're gonna put the chicken, sprinkle it on the pizza. A lot of protein, not worried about the carbs or the fat or the sugar or the preservatives, but the protein, the gain, always protein. So I think we used about 18 of them, let's say. So I would say 12 to 24 nuggets, but if you want to be strong and big like me, you want the games, get uh, 24 nuggets and then eat them on the side. We got the dough, we got the Chick-fil-A sauce, the cheese, and the chicken. Now for step five, we're gonna rip up the fries and sprinkle them on. It doesn't have to look perfect, but we're gonna try. Finesse, no mess. All that matters is it tastes good. Sure, we want it to look good, but you know, it's gonna taste good and that's all that matters, baby. I'll show you guys the final product. Here is the final product. Wow, that's beautiful. Great work, Kelly. Listen, I said two large fries. We barely, we didn't even finish the first one, so one large fry is enough, but it's better to have more ingredients than less. Step number six. Final step before it gets in the oven, okay? So look how beautiful this is. Everybody online, they have these stupid little recipes. Well, Chick-fil-A now has macaroni and cheese, so why not? Step number six. First, I've never had the mac and cheese at Chick-fil-A. Let's see. Wow, very good. I'm not a huge mac and cheese guy, but that's very good. Wow. Wow, this is going to be good. So yeah, why not? Chick-fil-A has macaroni and cheese, so we're putting it on the pizza. Step number six. All right, here it is. Show them Kel, get hit it with the all angles. Hit it with the all angles. Wow, we're about to plop that in the oven. It's pretty dang good. Step six completed. The oven is ready to go at 400 degrees convection oven. So we're gonna put this on the pan and we're gonna put it in the oven 10 minutes. 10 minutes, we're gonna check it. If it's not ready, we'll come back. Be patient, but don't overcook. But be patient, be patient. Okay, on the pan, look at that, look at that. It's gonna be in the oven, like I said, 400 degrees. 10 minutes, we'll check it.
You think it's done? Yeah. You think it's done? I yeah. Think so. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is this is shocking. Wow. Look at that. That thing is gonna be good. <laughs> Turned out better than I thought. Didn't even notice. It's done. Wow. I am terrible. Sorry. I'm done. It's done. Um, get. Look at it under the light, Cal. We are shocked. It turned out way better than we thought. This thing looks delicious. I'm gonna let you cut it. I trust you a lot more. I trust you a lot more, so let's get that going right now. Okay, I give Kelly a B on the slicing. Little uneven, but you know, there was a lot of things to maneuver around. I give you a little credit. A B is still good, B is still solid. Zoom in on this. Here's your slice, Kel. Look at that cheese, that string's coming off. Boom. I'll give me mine, but of course ladies first. That's why I gave her hers. Kelly looks great tonight. You do. Here we go, Kelly. Cheers. We'll give you a rating. All right, here we go. This thing looks amazing. I'm gonna give you a rating, real rating, no bias. I'm speechless. I'm speechless. It's a 9.2. I'm speechless. That's the best thing I've ever eaten in my life. Eight, eight flat rookie score. Okay, flat. Bailey, what do you give it? Bailey, what do you give it? Huh? Huh? All right, she's speechless too. Nine two eight point oh eight point flat. I want to thank you guys for tuning into Good Eats No Cap episode two. Listening to the whole thing. Like I said, thanks for the support on the first episode. Check out the MoCast. Check out thegoodgriefs.com. MoCast, Mo Money. We're on fire. Kelly, thank you once again. I know this is your favorite thing to do on Saturday nights. Chick-fil-A pizza was delicious. Calorie count. It is 5,852 calories. Little surprising, but ton of sugar, ton of carbs, ton of fat. This is very, 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 very bad for you. Eight even slices, 731 calories per slice. Big yikes, but... It was worth it. It was fun to make, right? Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching once again.